For image quality or frequency, this tab here indicates frequency range and the range can be seen on the ultrasound screen. For your reference, the following applies to the image quality or frequency ranges, with resolution indicating highest frequency for superficial structures, gen being generic or middle range, and ten being the lowest frequency for penetration. When a H is shown before res, gen, or pen, it means that you're scanning using harmonics. To toggle off harmonic imaging mode, swipe left on harmonic tab. The same titles apply to the remaining frequency options, however are in ranges. Resolution is for a frequency range from 4.7 to 12.8 MHz. Gen has a frequency range of 3.2 to 7.9 MHz. Finally, penetration has a frequency range of 2.6 to 6.5 MHz. Depth is the toggle right to the B mode dial. Turn it right to increase the depth in centimeters and left to decrease. Zoom, part of the depth dial. To zoom in on a specific area, press down on the dial and a blue window will appear. You can increase and decrease the size of the window by turning left and right like you would for depth and then use a trackball to position the zoom window over your area of interest. When you are in the desired area, click down on the zoom button again and use a trackball to move around the zoomed area. You can see where the zoomed window is in relation to the ultrasound image on the lower left tile shown here. Click zoom, dial again to come out. Gain. To change the gain on the image, it will be on the B mode dial, with turning right to increase the gain and left to decrease. To see the number or value of the gain, it is shown to the left of the ultrasound image, below depth. Time gain compensation is shown on the second screen. Please touch and hold to change the time gain compensation dials in the ultrasound image. If you want to revert back to default, press the back arrow. For more advanced options to manipulate your ultrasound image, select the advanced one or two in the second screen as shown. If you would like to change the gray map, left or right markers or field of view, for example. If you have changed things you didn't mean to, don't worry, nothing is permanent. Just go back to your Pro presets, select your desired preset, and everything will go back to the default settings.